Okay, I dug out one of my books. This wasn't, um, yeah, I have the original, number one. I did not find it, though, because it went in more details. But, um, well, other fact for today. But I'm going to go back to yesterday's fact about pectin. I, it does have the thing on homemade pectin right here. This tells you, and it says, it does give the instructions here. And through them all, it depends on how much you're using, too. But, um, it says, when you get to the end, four cups of homemade pectin replaces approximately one half bottle or three ounces of commercial liquid pectin in most recipes. So it's not as potent, because three ounces is not even a cup. Three ounces of commercial pectin. So, homemade is not as strong, but it's still pectin. And, ugh, I've got a sliver somewhere in my hand that I can't see to get out, but it's drumming. I feel it every time this, when my hand's on me. And the other fact is about cheese making. Clavering cheese, which is what gets it, you know, curdling, clavering, whatever you want to call it. What makes it thicken, essentially, and forms the cheese. It says, um, also in here, there are some herbs, too, that have the same milk clavering properties of rennet, yogurt, and buttermilk. They are sometimes packaged as vegetable rennet, nettle, giant purple thistle, and the giant purple thistle, I believe it's spe specifically the Balearic or Baltic purple thistle. The lemon sorrel and common sorrel, something called the fermatory, and the sap of the unripe fig will all curdle milk. Vegetable rennet is not as good of a clabberer as a animal rennet. So, you can still make vegan tea. Of course, if you're using cow's milk, it's not vegan, so never mind. But yeah, so that was those... That was more in-depth on yesterday's fact. And a new fact about how to make cheese at home. Clabbering. And then for the second fact, because this is actually getting low... I also grabbed out this book when I grabbed Stocking Up 3 out of my books are our friends. So let's just random page for a fact today. Um, let's see, find a sentence in here that can do for... Okay. That maybe, let's see, find something that's easy to... Easily understandable. Oh, there's a CD in there too, huh? Let's see. Yeah, there's probably something in here that's easy to understand. Oh, this file getting too big. I better hurry and stop. Um, I'll just do this. Previous experiments have shown that incubating red blood cells with I do acetamide and enosine causes ATP levels to decrease by 60%. And the, yeah, I, I do at, problem is it's hyphenated and in two different lines, so I can't see all the word at once. Acetamide. Iodoacetamide. I guess. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I gotta go get ready to take a shower and do more gardening.